This is the Motorcycle Museum in Carmel Valley. Hi everyone! I am doing a blog at the Motorcycle Museum in Carmel Valley. I am not into motorcycles, but I think it'd be interesting to find out about the history of a lot of the motorcycles. It, tell me your name again. Rich. Rich, okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Rich. Tell me about your group. Please. The collection is 190 motorcycles in it from 17 different countries. Uh, we probably have more Italian than any other make or any other nationality, Rob. We have a variety of racing motorcycles. We have vintage bikes and stuff. We have uh, all of the motorcycles that in the front room here. These are Italian bikes from the 1950s up through 1957. And they raced in a race called the Moto Giro Italia. Okay, great, great. The silver and blue motorcycle sitting there, that Mondial, that's the 1957 world champion winner in the 125cc class. That's amazing. There are quite a few one of ones. This second one in here, this number one, that's the only one of those in the world. There's a Taurus over there under the picture with all the number plates. That's the only one of those in the world. This number three that you see, the first one here in line, the Jalera, they actually built six of those, but that's the only one that still exists. Okay. The race bikes are left. Okay, on the other side of the room, the red and black is a Harley Davidson from 1931. That was Steve McQueen, the actor. That was his last motorcycle. The number two motorcycle here, this is Wayne Rainey's first world championship of his three world championships from 1990. Number 46 is Valentino Rossi's Moto GP. Ducati from 2011. This is Freddie Spencer's superbike from 1991. Kenny Roberts' Proton, Nikki Hayden's Formula Extreme, and Eric Bostrom's superbike. So a great selection of race bikes. These are the bikes and the only bikes in the building that we don't own. These are on loan from the racers themselves. And quite honestly, they're very valuable. This one is valued at a million dollars. Yeah, because it's the only one. Uh, in the back of the room, up on the shelf, number 37 when you get back there, that's a 1925 BMW R37. That's the first motorcycle that anybody built that had aluminum cylinder heads and overhead valves. It's the first year that BMW had a factory race team. This is... It's beautiful. They built 152 of them in 1925. Eight still exist today, but only one of the race bikes does. So this is the oldest BMW racing motorcycle in the world. Amazing. And that one has been, we've shown it at the LeMay, at Pebble Beach, and at the Quail, and it's taken first prize. So really spectacular motorcycle. I notice that you also have bikes on the racks up there. We have bicycles, we have pedal cars, we have toys. Try to <laughs> what is that? Thing. That's called a Decopod. Oh my gosh. It's, a, it's actually a 2016 Decopod. It's built on, around a scooter, but it's a custom body on a scooter. They built uh, six of those. That's actually the sixth of the six. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a long video <laughs> when I edit it. <laughs> it's interchangeable with a bike that you can I could buy. Yeah. But it's meant to be a caricature if you want. So like in automobile racing, it's what NASCAR does. They call it stock cars, but there's nothing stock about those. Mm -hmm. The other bikes there, the first two, and then this fourth one here, those are MotoGP, Grand Prix motorcycle bikes. Okay. Those are absolutely purpose-built just for racing. For racing. In fact, the rule book even says you can't use any production-based components. Everything's oh. got to be scratch built for racing. Mm -hmm. right, so different kinds of racing. Yeah. Uh, the number 69 bike here belonged to a very famous American racer, Nicky Hayden. Okay. And every, he was uh, everybody's hero and stuff, but tragically he was killed a year or so ago while he was training on a bicycle and a car hit him. Oh. Yeah. This one, number 32, is belongs to Eric Bostrom. So the, the riders have their numbers. The exception is when you win the world championship, you get to wear the number one. So in any racing series, the champion gets to wear number one if they want. Mm -hmm. yeah. this was, when this was new in 1972, this was about the most expensive motorcycle you could buy. So 
This is a 1972 MV Agusta 750S. How much is that now? I don't know what it was costing new. It, would, it had to be in 1972 when things were pretty cheap. It had to be in the teens, you know, $15,000, yeah. $20,000. This today is uh, way over $100,000 for the motorcycle. But when I said this is the best of all worlds, this motorcycle has 2,500 miles from new. <laughs> This is an unrestored motorcycle. These are the original tires that it came with and everything. Gosh, look at that engine. Yeah, it's, it's, it's basically a brand new bike. Jeez. I'll never look at motorcycles the same way again. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same way. This is, this is a 1990. This has 3,000 original miles on it, and it is undisturbed. Okay. It's it is, beautiful. It's a brand new bike. Yeah. yeah. And this is a very rare bike to find like that because... It was a sport bike. It was a very, very high performance sport bike, and mm -hmm. people would race them. And of course, they don't fare well after a while in the racing. So. so, what is your what is your oldest bike here, motor motorcycle? We have a 1911 Indian. Okay. Yeah. 19 we have a 1922 Harley Davidson. We have a 1927 Harley. We have this 1925 BMW. Okay. So we have. So the, the early 1900s. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Thank you so much. Well, I am at the uh, Motorcycle uh, Museum in Carmel Valley, and as you can see, a lot of this valuable, precious, one-of-a-kind, well, rare motorcycles behind me, all around me, and uh, it's a collection uh, of Mr. Talbot in, in this area. And so we're going to explore all of these uh, different types of motorcycles. And uh, the oldest that they have goes all the way back to the early 1900s. And a lot of the bikes that, um, motorcycles that you see behind me are, have been used in uh, motorcycle races. And uh, so if you're into bike, this is uh, the place for you to come. and. Uh, look at history and look at all this magnificent, beautiful looking motorcycle.
exhibits of motorcycles and uh, it's quite amazing actually to see all these different kinds of motorcycles here. See behind me some pretty amazing collection. Look at this one right here. <laughs> Not quite sure what that is. <laughs> Some of these ones from 1922. This one behind me right here from the 1920s. Um, that one's uh, okay. So all of these, this one's a Harley Davidson. That's quite a a change from what we have now. This one right here is a Harley Davidson, and that one there, and that one over there, a Harley Davidson from the 1920s. Let me look over here. So there is open. It's just been sitting out in the weather for 20 years and it comes to us looking awful, just horrible. And then he painstakingly restores them. And so this is, looks almost like new, but it was not before. We're going to go downstairs and take a look at their collection, but look at all these vintage posters behind me. Very interesting. I like this one behind me. This one that says, uh, it's a 19... It's a 1965 Vespa. Look at all the lights on there. Pretty amazing. I mean, like, look at all the mirrors. I, I don't know if they've added that, but <laughs> look at this. It's amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. This is the Motorcycle Museum in Carmel Valley. See you guys next time. Bye.